Now for our final award, and to present it, please welcome the original face of tomorrow's world, the one and only Raymond Baxter. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Please tell us about your award. Well, um, Tomorrow's World, believe it or not, has been on the air for 37 years, which I think you might agree is quite an achievement. However, it's a relative newcomer in the eyes of the winner of this year's award for science communication. He holds the Guinness World Record as the longest serving presenter of a television series, enthralling audiences with his knowledge and passion for over 45 years. Here he is in action. You know, if I'd come on the air in 1957 when we did the first of these Sky at Night programs and said that within five years I'd be showing you pictures of the first man to go round the Earth in orbit in a spaceship, well, I think you'd have regarded me as mad. What we planned to do was to start off by showing you some stars, and then go on to the Moon, then Jupiter, and finally, the most spectacular thing of all, Saturn, the planet with the rings, which never has been shown before on direct television. We've really exciting news. Halley's Comet has been sighted for the first time in over 70 years. George, what do you think uh, of the prospects <coughs> now at the moment? I think we're nearly totally obscured, Patrick. I think myself that the next step is going to be a soft landing of an unmanned, instrumented probe upon the moon's surface. Any luck? No, I must be able to see it before I can get on to it. <laughs> trouble, of course. This, of course, is one of the hazards of astronomy. There's not just nothing one can do about it at all. A few hours later, Neil Armstrong opened the hatch and prepared to set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. No, it's gone again. It's gone. And that is the end of this eclipse of the century, and by Jove, was it worth seeing? I can speak altogether three of the space languages. One is Venusian. Is it worth keeping it there, do you think? Well, there's nowhere else to point it, is no, it? No, I'm afraid not. And there is the crescent sun. There are about 15 minutes from totality, and we've just had our first glimpse of the eclipse have, at least, been able to put Saturn direct on the screen for the first time. Mind your head. So, uh, let's climb down once again. I'm prepared to bet that in a hundred years' time from now, there'll be major bases upon the moon and they'll be permanently inhabited. Yes, I won't go there, but I say you may. And so, from Brighton, where the sky, sky is now completely overcast, good night. Good night. <laughs> Patrick, it, it gives me the most enormous pleasure and pride to present to you the Raymond Baxter Award for 2002. Raymond, thank you. Well, I must say, I am I'm not easily taken aback, as you know, but I am taken aback this time. I hadn't the slightest idea, and I feel very, very honored and I think in the future, if I remembered, I'd be remembered for just one thing, the man who swallowed a large blue bottle during the sky at night. <laughs> if we can just let you hold on for one more minute, we have, a, we have another surprise for you. There was someone who really wanted to be here this evening. He's just got off a plane from LA. He's rock star and astronomer, Brian May. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to be here to, to pay tribute to Patrick. He's had an enormous influence on my life and, and on all of our lives. I really think to all of us, Patrick Moore is astronomy in the UK. He has been for 45 years and he's actually much more than that. To all those of us who are privileged to know him, um, he's an incredibly broad intellect and an amazing sense of humour an amazingly human being, yeah. and I totally admire him. I find him the most inspiring person. Patrick Moore, congratulations. <laughs>
back. Many congratulations to all our award winners and finalists. And remember, next year, it could be your turn. So get innovating. Tomorrow's World will be back in January, but you'll be able to catch Best Inventions in November. But tonight, from all of us here at Television Centre, it's good night.